Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to famous people who accepted Islam in 2022 by the channel Muslim Convert Stories. I personally do not care at all which so-called famous person converted to Islam. What we see in this day and age is idol worship. They even call those celebrities idols. People do not realize that they create gods out of those people. If you look at concerts, for example, young girls fainting because because they saw their stars. This is one of the biggest mental illnesses of our age and of course this is a spiritual sickness as well. But nevertheless, yes, yes, I do understand that people look up to those people and therefore if they convert to Islam, at least the rest of the peasantry gets interested in Islam and has a chance to take a look as well. Anyways guys, with no further ado, let's have a look. Marine El Himer age 29 the most recent person to convert ah. to islam is marine el Himer. french model marine has appeared in several runway shows and walks including the well-known la princess at la princess de l'amour mm -hmm. but alhamdulillah le princess de l'amour yeah well that makes sense of course as he just mentioned now she's 29 thank god absolutely thank god she found religion but it just shows you that women in this day and age get away with being promiscuous exposing their skin going on to dating shows dating multiple men at the same time and not being judged for it by our cucked society but then when they hear the ticking of the biological clock then they're gonna stop all of that degeneracy and out of a sudden they're faithful women i hope that she is sincere but i have to stress that men allow this men are involved with the promiscuity men are involved with the adultery and they go from one woman to another the women are going from one man to another and then when they turn 30 out of a sudden hey it's all forgotten now i'm gonna be a housewife it doesn't work like that she's a muslim now she claims that since becoming a muslim her life has been filled with happiness marina Thank used God. the instagram platform to share this wonderful news with her followers although she made the announcement on november 4th she really converted earlier since then she has thought back on what she did and changed how she sees the world himera said in front of the public that she had previously converted but had needed some time to grow in her beliefs. She done a niqab and completed the umrah two days after yeah, her I mean, even this picture. Sorry, guys, I have to be critical, man. But this picture itself is already yet again self-portrayal. You can clearly see that she comes from a model background and now she is exposing herself yet again. Of course, in a hijab, therefore it is modest. But nevertheless, she is exposing herself. Hey, look at me touching the Kaaba. Not cool, man. It is believed that her biological father played a role in the conversion. Basically, what happened was that she conducted an extensive study on her father. And it was at this time that she received the genuine guidance, which led to her conversion. She thanked all of her supporters for her unwavering support and called this change of life a choice of soul, heart, and reason in her description. Andrew Tate, best. age 36. Yep. Andrew Tate, a well-known American British kickboxer, recently converted to Islam. He made headlines earlier this year for his controversial remarks, but only a few weeks prior, he converted to Islam. His viral video startled the entire globe. He was observed saying the namaz in a mosque in the United Arab Emirates. And the story of this spread like a fire in a forest. The person who actually broke his fantastic news to the globe was Tam Khan, an MMA fighter who is Muslim. Tam Khan declared to the world that sharing Tate's Shahada video was not his objective, but rather he wanted to convey happiness and urge people to wake up. 
This video was released on 24th. Yeah, as I said in the beginning of the video, I personally really do not care for the fame of people, but nevertheless, of course, Andrew Tate's conversion led many other people to convert as well. Yet again, I can only stress that I hope that those people are genuine and that they're not doing it just out of fanboy shit. October, which happens to be the official date of him becoming a Muslim. After his conversion, he was blocked from a number of social networking sites. So he used his sole active account left, Getter, to confirm rumors that he had converted. Tate has been opposed to false assumptions and acceptance of the glitzy lifestyle. Because Andrew Tate believes that this ideology is imposed on individuals, especially youngsters, he has the greatest level of doubt for those who accept homosexuality. He has been firmly convinced for the past two years that Islam is the only religion that upholds its belief with a serious commitment. His primary motivation for converting was the fact that Islam is a complete religion and the individuals who practice it often live by a set of laws. Yes, with that statement, I agree. However, Andrew Tate as well mentioned that he had so much respect for Islam because Muslims defend their religion. Of course, it is beautiful to see that Muslims still defend their religion. However, I wouldn't say that this makes a religion true because you can have a bunch of followers. They're absolute hypocrites, but the ideology itself could still be correct. Nevertheless, I personally research the theology of Islam and Christianity. And by looking into such things as the Trinity or icon veneration, saint veneration, etc., etc., this is when I draw my conclusion, which theology is the stronger one is prohibited in Islam. These things drew him in, and after considering them for two years, he finally made up his mind. There are differing opinions about Andrew Tate. Some say that Tate's conversion to Islam is nothing more than an act or a performance, and that his nah, sole goal is to get people's attention. These folks ought to believe that he has been questioning his views for some time, and is aware that Christianity isn't the solution to his problems. He encountered Islam as his savior during these trying times, and it gave him the solutions he needed. Muslims all throughout the world are aware that mistakes are- Yes, the thing is this, man. If you look into Christianity and Islam, they're extremely similar. 99% of the rules and laws are actually really identical if you would look into the Bible and would practice it. However, within Christianity, you have the issue that the law has been abolished, right? And because the law has been abolished, people think, why would I obey the Bible then at all? And they're right, of course. If the law has been abolished, you don't have to do that any longer. However, if you look at the scripture of Christianity, Yes, you will find those laws within it and therefore there is still a minority of Christians that actually practice what they preach. However, within Islam it is simpler because you have haram and halal. It's very easy actually to follow and this is what resonates with many men of course. When we seek spirituality, spirituality is very vague and men are rational, objective. We like to put things into boxes and therefore when the spiritual aspect becomes very vague as well, we cannot resonate with it. We need a clear structure, a clear guideline, and Islam provides it. And that nobody is flawless. Therefore, True. instead of condemning or questioning Andrew Tate's motives, we should support him because he has actually made the correct decision. Rapper Dutchavelli, age 28. Stefan Fabulous Allen, also known as Dutchavelli, is a citizen of the United Kingdom. He is well known for his rapping, which helped him score a number of successes. He became so well known that he worked with musicians like Stormzy. However, when no he revealed that he had finally embraced Islam, all of this was forgotten. The news made his followers, known as Zero Zero, very happy. A public video emerged showing the rapper reciting the Shahada following the Imam at a mosque. The rapper addressed the rumors of the news on his Instagram stories by confirming them. It is thought that Stefan recently started reading and comprehending the Holy Quran. This drew him even nearer to the faith. Even dropping the stage name Dutchavelli, he underwent a complete transformation. Nice. The rapper's conversion serves as the ideal illustration of Allah's wisdom. Up until he was charged with a firearms offense in 2018, he was doing pretty well in his line of work. After a two-year hiatus, his career resumed in 2020, peaking once again. However, he was given guidance on how to practice the proper religion, 
which gave him inner peace. It is absolutely amazing to hear because when I grew up in Germany, I saw a lot of so-called Muslim rappers. They were even talking about how they are Muslims, simultaneously in the same breath talking about drugs, girls, partying and whatnot. It was absolutely repulsive and I thought that this is what Islam is. As a teenager, I was listening to those rappers and I believed, okay, if they are rappers apparently talking about their religion, then I will have to assume that this is what the religion is about. It is about many women, it is about drugs, about violence, etc, etc, you name it. But then when you actually research Islam yourself and you find out that the majority opinion is that music is haram altogether, what about rap then? You only have to count one and one together of course to understand that rap is absolutely haram, absolutely prohibited in this style. Sabri Malajakanthan Don't know her either. Motivational speaker Sabri Malajia Kanthan is from India. Okay. She formally taught high school, but she announced her resignation after saying the nation needed her more than ever. Recently, a video of her appearing in front of Kaaba in Mecca, appearing on social media through her own account. She announces her Shahada and at long last lets the world know about her conversion. Her opinions on Islam are glowing. She began her conversion to Islam by asking herself the most important question. Why do people despise Muslims? She started reading the Holy Quran with an open mind to find the right answer. She discovered the truth about Allah and the Prophet peace be upon him in the Quran. And it was so compelling that she felt like it was incumbent upon her to embrace and practice the faith. Since then, she has advised her listeners to read the book since it offers advice on many facets of life. She went so Absolutely. far as to suggest that rather than people that are the most hateful about Islam, myself in the past included, have not read the Quran. I talk to many Christians and this is where the most hate comes from nowadays, unfortunately, and they have no clue about the Quran. They saw a couple of YouTube videos and therefore they like to point the finger. They're despising Islam without ever reading the Quran. Keeping the Holy Quran it's in their ridiculous. homes. Muslims should urge non-believers to study it True. in order to give their lives the actual purpose for which they were intended from the beginning. She changed Absolutely, man. Let them read the Quran. If it resonates with them, good. If not, okay, then they have another path. But nevertheless, I would urge the Christians, if you hate Islam that much, simply read the Quran from cover to cover and then after that you can go on and debunk it. Her name Simple. to Fatima Sabrimala upon her conversion. Fatima. The teachings of Islam particularly impressed her since they do not view the menstrual cycle as in holy and the Prophet peace be upon him forbade any kind of discrimination against women. A guy who lived by such moral standards 1400 years ago could hardly be disregarded as yep. everyone should follow Allah who led such a man. Dr. Mark Thompson converted 8th April age 62 following the wow. completion of his undergraduate and life. graduate degrees in the UK, Dr. Mark Thompson relocated to Saudi Arabia at the King Faisal Research Center he is employed. On April 8th, mm. he sent out a tweet expressing his embrace of Islam. He tweeted an image of himself entering the mosque to recite the Shahada. He accepted Islam in the month of Ramadan. Thompson may have had sufficient time to fully appreciate Islam if he had remained in Saudi Arabia for more than 20 years. His friends in Mecca and elsewhere, as well as many other Muslims, greeted him for converting to Islam. That's beautiful, man. Clarence Seedorf, age 46, no one of the idea. most well-known football players. I Clarence Seedorf no played football. for a number of I teams, hate including Real Madrid, Ajax, Inter Milan, and AC Milan. His wife Sophie okay. was the key one, standing by his side, and she guided him in the proper direction. The fact that his also. wife Sophie is an Iranian Muslim and Muslims mm. only wed other Muslims, drew the two of them closer together. Right. Now, he is a devout Muslim who prays and lives the faith to the fullest extent possible. Seedorf, though, has stated that he would continue yeah, to go by Islam, the name no? that his parents gave him. Islam. His Muslim brothers and sisters all around the world have shown him their affection. His tweet about how Islam is being accepted has 346,000 likes and about 32,000 or more comments. He has wow. stated that he is overjoyed to embrace Islam and walk the noblest path. Thomas Partey, age 29. Thomas Partey, an Arsenal and Ghana football player, 
said that he had converted to Islam just a few days after Clarence Seedorf did. The fans were horrified as the news rapidly became public. His image, in which he was shown carrying the Holy Quran in his hand, quickly became popular. His girlfriend, Sarah Bella, who later became his wife after his conversion, had a big influence on his choice. As According well, to an huh? interview with Thomas, Those football players are easily influenced by women, huh? He spent most of his upbringing among Muslims and picked up a lot of knowledge from them. When he eventually met Sarah, them, he made generally. the decision to convert to Islam. He adopted Yakubu as his new name Yakubu. upon his approval. Although it was then reported by the media that he would wear his Arsenal shirt with the name Thomas, but go by Yakubu. Yakubu is basically an African name yeah. whose resemblance is to Jacob and James. Hmm. His father's Yacoub. name is Jacob as well. All in all, the celebrities mentioned in this video need support from Muslims around the world, and we should welcome them to Islam as our brothers and sisters. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Especially the ending was beautifully set, and we should welcome them to Islam as our brothers and sisters. I believe that this is truly the beauty of Islam because once you enter into the deen, you become a brother or a sister, and therefore your past sins are forgotten. Actually, they're all wiped out. Nevertheless, me here on this channel doing a reaction video, of course, I will be critical. Hey, in the end, I do not know the heart of those people. I only judge what I see, of course. Ultimate judgment is to God. This is nothing but an observation that I have in this moment and time, and therefore ultimately I can be swayed differently if I would talk face to face to some of those people. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.